Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe DB2 tutorial of part 5. So this will be the continuation video of uh, the previous uh, knowledge sharing video. So that was, uh, I mean, I was explaining about the DDL and the DML commands and how do we use in Mainframe DB2. So in this video, I would like to share something about subqueries. Uh, what is a subquery? Query within a query is defined as a subquery. When we will be, when we will come across these subqueries. So in a subquery, first and a first inner query will be executed, and based on the inner query results, an outer query will be executed. So let us see an example to retrieve a second max uh, salary from below table so how we will take how it will execute or what is the query we need to write so for example i'm having an uh, employee table so where i have two fields like name and salary so it has four records so i want to extract uh, uh, the top second salary so based on this uh, the top second salary would be the 8000 so let's see how it happens so first i would what i'm doing is i'm writing a query outer query that is select max salary from emp where emp salary is less than select max salary from emp so first it select this table and it searches for max salary in this max salary is 9000 that is 9000 so it checks whether and again it uh, it uh, now it executes the outer queries. It checks the max salary. Is max salary uh, 9000 is less than 9000? No. Then it comes again, it searches for the 8000. 8000 is less than 9000. Yes, that's correct. So, so now, uh, now the output would be 8000. So you have the output with 8000. So in the above highlighted in LA is called as an inner query and uh, highlighted in green is called as an outer query okay let's see an nested query nested subquery so subquery within a subquery is called as a nested subquery at max uh, we have 15 we can code sub 15 subqueries can be coded in one query so the total could be uh, 16 how to retrieve a third or fourth max salary so in this uh, we are trying to retrieve a second max salary so what we did we write a query within a query so so in the same way in order to retrieve the second third max or fourth max we have to write multiple sub queries so select max emp salary from emp emp salary from emp and emp salary from emp so in this way now it will retrieve 7000 as a third max salary from based on this query okay so that was about the, the uh, sub queries and net su uh, nested sub queries so now we will look at uh, uh, look at uh, so correlated subquery so when we when we will be using a correlated subqueries so as i said here in nested subquery we can code fifth max of 15 subqueries so there may be a situation where your condition might go uh, go after 15 subqueries so and also uh, also it is it becomes very complex if you if you write multiple subqueries you you go on writing a subquery so in order to avoid this complexity so we can use correlated subqueries and uh, in nested queries we have a restriction to have 15 queries so if there in correlated subqueries we will overcome those problem so it is it is said to be quite opposite to subquery and nested subquery that is in this first a outer query will be executed and based on based on the outer query results and inner query will be executed note every row of outer query or inner query uh, must be executed at least one so now we'll be trying to uh, we'll take an example of retrieving top and salary so so what happens is i'm trying to uh, create some aliases of uh, employee table so there will be two aliases. Uh, let us see, look at the query. So select a dot emp salary from emp a where two is less than select count star from emp b where a dot emp salary less than b dot emp salary. So here in this it can be an m n. So you can find up to n salaries. So first of all in this query I'm trying to find the second max salary. So in the above, I have created two aliases. That is table, 
A and B or the alias. What is exactly an alias? Alias means and it is an alternate object to base table derived from base table with same number of columns and rows as the base table. So it would be the same. I, I think I can say it is a copy of a, a copy of an, a base table. So how many rows uh, and columns you have, have in the base table? The same rows and columns will have in the aliases. That is in A and B table. So explanation. Retrieving top and salaries. So select a, a dot emp salary from emp a. So this with this was our command. So emp is an original base table and a and b are the alias tables. So emps I have only one field that is emp salary and it is having uh, four records. In from these four records we need to retrieve a second max salary. So now the aliases are created. So first check. Oh, yeah, first times as I said uh, uh, it will check the outer carry will be performed first select a dot of EMP salary from EMP a so it will select uh, the e a dot EMP salary table so and here we have a condition it now it goes to these conditions select count star from EMP B where a dot EMP salary is less than B dot EMP salary so the first check will be right in v the t now the operations bit will be a between the a and b tables that is alias tables so we have we'll check a first condition is thousand less than thousand no but here i'm saying that to count star emp less than a dot emp is less than so what are the what is the count we have one thousand uh, which are less than thousand so here our count will be three so since two is greater than two is not greater than three so the condition will be false so now second check it will go to check and check and from a dot emp salary it will check it will select the 2000 record 2000 employee salary and check for all the conditions so since 2000 is less than 1000 the condition is passed in circle but fails outside that is 2 is not less than 2 2 is not greater than 2 right so once again it goes to the third check and it retrieves the third 3000 is less than 2000 yes that's correct condition passes overall that is what are the how many records we have which are less than 2000 so we have three records i mean two rec i mean sorry uh, one record which is less uh, one record which is less than 3000 so here the count will be one and two two is uh, greater than one so now our condition is passed both outer and uh, inner so this condition and this condition get satisfied so now now our output will be 3000 so in this way the internal check will be happening for the correlated sub queries so same way you can record it for and the salary or you might be having some thousands of records so where you wanted to find 50th max salary or 60th max salary or the million records so in this way not only it is not only it is only fine for employee salary or such thing so you can based on your conditions i mean based on your requirement you can code in different ways you are using an account star you can use the different condition or different kinds of function over here so since my operation is to find 10 top 10 end salary so i gave this example so this is how uh, correlated subqueries works in works so and uh, so the, the different functions we might be using are count max min and average so this count so you can ask any question above here like so i already uh, actually this condition could be easy when you write uh, when you when you write using uh, nested subqueries that is in order to retrieve a second max so it, it is just simple to write this query right so that is okay uh, i mean based on the conditions I mean if you are if you are good with uh, if you just want the top second salary yes you are right you can use this uh, sub query but when uh, when you are going to if you and you want to retrieve more than 10 or 15 15 top salaries then you have to go uh, and use first a correlated sub query so it's it's based on your decision so you can use either correlated you can use uh, sub query or nested sub queries based on the situation you have so so that's all I have uh, for this today's video. In my next video, I would be coming up with more and more videos. It would be mostly about the programming part. Mostly, I would be coming up with the what are the SQL code and uh, what is SQL CA and uh, what are the evolution of SQL commands and uh, uh, so on. So. Uh, 
Thank you for watching this video. Have a great and wonderful day.